The easiest Linux distribution to install, if you have NVIDIA hardware in your system, is Pop! OS. Pop! OS is an operating, uh, created by operating system, distribution, Linux, <laughs> words, created by uh, a company called System76 that actually makes hardware. And they kind of wanted to go like the Apple route where they make their own uh, OS specific, specifically catered to their hardware. And, uh, but they, they made everything available and you can get Pop! OS, anybody can get Pop! OS even if you don't have System76 hardware. And they actually have two versions of Pop! OS of the, uh, you know, of their 1904 version or 1910 or whatever there. It's based on Ubuntu. Uh, but, so they have an NVIDIA version and they have a regular version. So if you have NVIDIA gr graphics hardware, you want to go with the NVIDIA version and they just, it's just all set up for you. It's just like installing Linux on any other system. Uh, and if you have an NVIDIA hardware, you understand the pains. It is painful to install anything else that Manjaro, uh, Debian, Arch, that's a whole different beast of its own. Um, but Manjaro, Debian, I haven't tried Fedora, so I can't speak to that, but, um, even Ubuntu can run into roadblocks. The newest version of Ubuntu, uh, you still have to enter some commands half the time if you want to get your NVIDIA hardware working properly. Pop! OS, no, just works right out of the box. You just install it. It's, it's awesome. Um, Pop! OS is basically Ubuntu. You can follow any kind of guides, like say you want to install Brave Web Browser. Uh, you just Google install Brave Web Browser on Ubuntu and you follow those steps and it's going to give you the same exact results on Pop! OS. So really any of the tweaks in Pop! OS are pretty superficial. They're just like, you know, they use a slightly different uh, version of GNOME, or not version, but they tweak no GNOME window manager desktop environment a little bit differently than Ubuntu does. A uh, couple things like that, but uh, for the most part, it's just, it's just Ubuntu. So and I think Ubuntu is a good operating system. It's a good distribution. It's not the greatest on resources like Manjaro, Arch, uh, those are definitely better on resources, at least in my experience. So, but one thing I do want to warn you about with Pop! OS is that it'll give you the option. It'll want you to, when you're installing it, to, to make your hard drive a, I think it's GPT drive. And if you're dual booting with Windows, you don't want to do that because it's going to, it'll screw up your dual boot and you won't be able to get back into Windows without a lot of hassle. So, uh, so just a warning there. Um, if you're dual booting with Windows or really with anything, I would just be careful about that GT, GPT, I think it was option or GPK or GP something, whatever it is. I just wanted to warn you. So just be warned. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Have you tried Pop! OS? Um, what is your favorite distribution? Let me know. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video and uh, subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. And if not, then give it a thumbs down. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for watching and peace out.